guys welcome to my channel i'm emily rose and so i did not talk at all on my vlog when we were on vacation in florida but i wanted to create just kind of like where i come on here and i talk about the vacation here because i figured it's no different whether if it's me in florida or me at home telling you how the vacation went after and describing everything we done so my family and I we drive so from Nebraska to Florida so it takes us a few days to get there we left Friday night and we got to we went to Clearwater and so we got to Clearwater Sunday night by the time we got there it was pretty late and it was just pretty much supper time and so all we wanted was food and so we stayed at because it was a little bit more affordable was the Fairfield Inn other than I will say they do have valet services which I mean it is what it is I get like why you know hotels do that because of probably people wanting to park there for going to the beach I think it was very expensive because it was like $19 a night to park there so you know to me that's a little pricey and like for the area and everything you know like I feel like they could just do something different I mean of course I appreciate like the people that do the job you know they were nice nice people but it just was kind of a ridiculous thing like it it was a nice hotel it like I said what I would say too like for the parking wise because of it being valet to me it's not that fancy of a hotel to have valet parking because like it was not I mean, it was nice. They had a, you know, a pretty okay breakfast. And I think mean, it was a cute, cute lobby and everything. But yeah, like the, it was really hot, like in the hallway to go to our room. I think we were on the fourth or fifth floor. But yeah, so it was kind of hot in the hallway. Like I said, I just feel like the accommodations and stuff like that that they have, it just was not worth it to have the valet but otherwise we did have a really really good experience staying there really really nice people you know very helpful so we checked into the Fairfield Inn in Clearwater and then we were trying to figure out where to eat and I found there on like a on the map this place to eat and it still gave me the menu and everything and I was like oh you know that looks like a pretty neat place to go eat at and so you know because it was like eight o'clock or something at night and so we're like okay you know they're still open. They're open until I think it said it was supposed to be like 10 o'clock or something. So we headed there and just walked because it was just like, I think three blocks or something from the hotel. And so we went there and then we thought it was this one place, but then we sat down and all it was was like drinks because they stopped serving food. And I'm like, okay, this is not the right place because I noticed that it was not the right name. And of course it was only drinks only. And I learned that place closed, but on like the map, the Google map, no one has taken it off of there. So be warned that if you ever look, some places might not actually be open. You might want to look them actually up on Google or something. Cause I think once I done that, yeah, it said it closed. But so the, the lady that was very, very kind at that bar though, that stopped serving food. She told us that we could go like around the corner and there was a place that should be still serving food. And so like it was, I think it was two blocks so you would go like a block and then you'd go like a block over and so we went around the corner there and it was this cute place like it had a uh, inside dining and then outside dining it was like literally like right on the sand and then it was the beach I do have a photo and it's called Palm Pavilion and Clearwater. If I'm gonna be honest, they say that they have really really good cheeseburgers, but I will have to say it wasn't the greatest to me, if that makes sense. Like, I mean, it wasn't like bad or anything. Like, I mean, they cooked it really well done for me and, you know, it didn't taste bad. It just, it wasn't very flavorful. And if I want a cheeseburger, I want it to be flavorful. So, but yeah, that being said though, the, the workers are really nice and everything. And that is pretty much all we did the first night we got there. Oh my god, 
fuck back there. <laughs> Okay, so day two of in Clearwater. Um, we got up and then of course the Fairfield had a complimentary breakfast. I can't remember, I think we kind of just relaxed in the room for a little bit. The Fairfield is only like two blocks, I think, ish, two and a half, maybe three blocks or whatever from the from the golf. And so we kinda went straight over from the hotel and we walked along the the beach there and everything and we walked all the way to pier 60 and so we just kind of like i think we just kind of like looked around at pier 60 and everything went on pier 60 enjoyed the beautiful breeze and everything just kind of walked around the little area i can't remember if it was before or after but anyways we went to eat and then there's like stacked place and like so the bottom is like ron john's and then it's hooters and then there's like some other place on the corner that's like the roundabout by pier 60 but so we went and ate at hooters which was which was pretty good i mean it's Hooters. It's not bad food. It's not like the greatest food, but it was good. So then after that, we just kind of walked. We looked in Ron John and then we went to, I think it's called Surf Style, which is a pretty nice place. I got a shirt from there and everything, but I will put the haul at the end of the video. So stay tuned if you want to see what I bought when we were in Florida. I can't remember. I want to say we might have walked because it was really hot i don't know if we walked all the way back to our hotel or not but we did wind up walking all the way back down my dad really wanted to try frenchies which is i think just mostly a main restaurant that's like a chain around the tampa clearwater area because i don't think i've ever seen them anywhere else but we walked down to the frenchies there i mean it was good food but I'm not a fish person, so 
you know, like they probably do best on fish, but so my mom and I split the chicken strips and then had some coleslaw. Their coleslaw is very unique there. So if you like coleslaw, you should definitely try it. And then my dad had fish and I think he said that that was the best fish that he had the whole entire time that we were in Florida. So there's that. If you're a fish per person, I think he would totally recommend you going to Frenchie's. He had um, jalapeno hush puppies. Those are flipping delicious. If you're not a jalapeno type of person, because I'm not, I personally don't like spicy things or like hot things. But like it's just flavored with jalapeno, so it was it was delicious. We left there and then we wound up going back to Pier 60. My mom wanted to go get these necklaces that she wanted to buy. She wanted one for her, me, and then my sister. So we wanted to go back and get that. And then they actually have like little little places lined up along the whole pier, which was pretty cute. I did not get a very good video or anything because they don't want you to like video their merchandise or take photos. I did see a couple of them that said that, so I just kind of took like a video straight, so you can't really see what they're selling or anything. But there was a booth set up there and we wound up buying some things that were like handmade there from the sky from Clearwater and so we got that just kind of enjoyed what the lights looked like at night and like what the pier looked like at night okay so then Monday night we went to I think it was Ben and Jerry's got some ice cream but so we were walking and eating that going back to the hotel on the way back to the hotel we walk right past Hulk Hogan's restaurant and like bar and my dad said it earlier that day he was like oh you know they have karaoke's on monday night and he's like i've heard that he sometimes is there on monday nights and so when <laughs> we were walking back to the hotel we were like oh you know maybe he's there or maybe we want to peek in or something like that and we were walking once we got closer there was like everybody surrounding the bar and so we were like, he has to be in there. He has to be in there. And so there was like around the corner on the side of the building, there was like these chairs lined up out there. And so there was so many of them sitting up on the chairs or whatever to just get a peek at him. So we did get some photos and videos of him. So that was kind of pretty neat. And then I posted it on my Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram. It's at emilyrose 3 but I posted it on my story and tagged like to say like Hulk Hogan and he literally viewed it. So here's proof. And it was so cool because I've never had a actual like celebrity, you know, or anything like do that. So that was like kind of a neat experience that he actually viewed it. He didn't say anything, but he viewed it. And I think that was it for the first whole day in Clearwater. Right? <laughs> he's picking up his feet. I don't know why. Usually he slides them.
Starbucks now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they started right down here with the Starbucks. Yeah. We have till 1 o'clock or So day three, we did not have a lot planned for this day at all. And so I suggested we were going to go on a boat ride, but we didn't wind up going on a boat ride, but we were going to do the sunset one. And then by the time we realized it was too late, so we did not get to do that. And so I would really love to go back and do that. We walked almost all the way down to the pier again to get some lunch because you know you kind of have to pay for parking everywhere and everything so we just thought we would walk and so we walked all the way down and we ate at it's called little anthony's i'm pretty sure and it is like a pizza place oh my gosh they have really really good pizza i think we had it was like pepperoni beef and green pepper maybe but it was really good and then they had like garlic knots those are really really good so i would recommend if you're a pizza person to eat there because it was really really good and it was not even busy at all and we were there like right at the time like you know like kind of opening and everything but yeah so we went there for lunch and then it was really really hot i think by the time like we walked down and everything and got the pizza and everything it was just so hot so we actually wound up going back to the hotel and we just kind of like relaxed for a little bit you know just kind of chilled out at the hotel and then i suggested because i found i was like oh let's go mini golfing and we went mini golfing but oh my gosh we had like sweat dripping everywhere like anywhere you can imagine it was bad but i mean it was still fun and so we played a game of golf and then I can't remember, but I think we wound up taking the vehicle back to the hotel. I think we done like, my mom and I done like a load of laundry from the heat or something like that. We were kind of tired. I want to say this day we took a nap and then we got up and then it was kind of close to supper time. So we were kind of hungry and we wound up going back to Palm Pavilion. And my mom and I split a chicken sandwich and then I can't remember, my dad had fish or something because you know he's such a big fish kind of guy. But then we headed to the beach for the sunset and oh my gosh the sunset there at the Gulf was gorgeous though. It, it really was really gorgeous. It was cloudy the day that we were there but it was still really really gorgeous. And you know, we just kind of picked up seashells. I kind of had to film myself a little bit because it was like cotton candy skies. It literally looked like cotton candy skies. And then we were looking at the moon because the, it was a full moon. And then there was supposed to be an eclipse that night, but it was just like a partial eclipse. I cannot exactly remember the name. So that was happening that night. We wound up walking all along the beach, all the way down to Pier 60 again, and just kind of like checked out Pier 60. We stopped at this little shop that they had that was, I think, Ice and Cream or something like that was like the name of the place. My mom and I had a root beer float from there. Really, really good. I think it's like handmade maybe ice cream, but yeah, it was such a cute little place. So we got that. Then we headed back to our hotel and we went down and looked at the eclipse. I got a little video and I got some photos. Oh 
Okay, so day four of being in Florida was actually our last day in Clearwater. There was this mall and I want to call, I want to say it was called like, like International Mall or something like that, but it's like the mall in Tampa. It's right by their airport. A pretty good size mall. I wouldn't say like it's huge. I thought it was like a big, big one, but like, I mean, it was good size. It had like good stores in it. Um, I looked in, there was like Nordstrom, there was Urban Outfitters I looked at, um, American Eagle, Victoria's Secret, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, uh, Burberry and everything. Like they had a lot of stores in there that like were high end. I actually wanted to go into the Gucci store and look for a belt because I've been wanting a Gucci belt for a while and I just didn't find one that I liked because I wanted like the medium sized one. Like I didn't want like the skinny skinny one but I didn't want like the big big one either. And they didn't have any in store there that were like the ones that I wanted because I wanted the double G. I didn't want the interlocking G. And so I didn't wind up getting that. I was like, okay, I'll probably just have to order it when I am ready for it. I did wind up uh, buying some pants at American Eagle. But yeah, other than that, I did not get much of anything at the mall because I tried a couple things on at Zara. They didn't really fit me that well. So of course I didn't wind up getting them. We wound up leaving there then and then we drove all the way to Gainesville. I We have family that lives um, outside of Gainesville, like in the country area. We went and visited my second cousin, just kind of like hung out with him. I did not film there because one, just for his privacy, and then two, just because I have not seen him in like years, like since I was like 13. So it's been almost like, or maybe 12. So it's been like almost like 10, 11 years since I've seen him. And so we just kind of like hung out, visited with him and everything. And then we went to our hotel in Gainesville. So we stayed in Gainesville for the night. Okay, so day five. Thursday was our last full day in Florida. So we woke up. We stayed at, we're not for sure how you pronounce it, it was HOM or HUM, it's like H-O-M in Gainesville. It was, it was okay, it wasn't the greatest hotel, but I mean for the price it was, it was okay. It was nice for the price, but, so we stayed there and we woke up and they have complimentary breakfast. We ate the complimentary breakfast, we did like <laughs> go back to the room and we wound up taking a nap and we kind of overslept. So we were late like getting ready and we walked to Cracker Barrel and ate Cracker Barrel for lunch. We left there and we needed some things. So went down and I wanted to go to Barnes and Noble. And so I got to check out Barnes and Noble there and I did wind up getting one book. And then we went to Trader Joe's and got a case of water and then I got a probiotic shot and then we headed out to my second cousin's house and then we hung out with him the rest of the evening and then once we left there we went to Texas Roadhouse because it was just like down the street from our hotel and then we went back to our hotel and slept and then the next morning we just ate breakfast and then headed back home. And I did have to take some videos because we ran into a storm on the way home and I actually caught some cool videos of the lightning. So of course I just had to show that on here because I thought it was pretty neat. <laughs> Okay guys, if you made it this far, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video, this vlog. It's not, it's not my best work, but it is what it is. I've done what I could do because I also wanted to enjoy my vacation, but so I wanted to do a little haul of what I bought while we were in Florida. And so to start out, I think I told you that we went to, it was called Surf Style. My mom got, my sister and I matching t-shirts from Clearwater. 
and so it is like this and on the back it says find me under the palms living life on beach time surf style clearwater beach florida established 1915 and it's got like the bigger and then i told you that they had like little little uh, booths of people selling stuff on the Pier 60 and so this is the little homemade thing but so it's a it's a seashell and then it's got penguins in it and then like down here on the little glass piece it actually says like Clearwater Beach Florida and then you can plug it in and this lights up and it, you could just leave it like that or you can push it the other way and it actually like rotates it's it's really cute and then of course i told you that we went to the mall and i literally got one thing it's a pair of trousers which i've been wearing some trousers for like a while this isn't exactly the style that i want but i found a pair on amazon which i might order i might do like an amazon haul and then like tell you whether if i maybe like whether if the clothes is worth it or whatever but anyways uh this is the pair they got they are like a nice wide leg pant and then i told you that we went to barnes and noble in gainesville Florida and so I only got one thing there because I still have so many books to read on my TBR and so I put myself on a book buying ban other than I really really wanted a bible and so I wound up getting this one like it is giant print size but to me it's not it's not terribly giant because I was like but like it's like that I don't think that's too giant size but yeah, so I just kind of wanted my own Bible and I liked the looks of this one with the black and gold because it also has like the sprayed edges. Okay, so that is everything that I bought in Florida or on the trip in general. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank you so much if you made it this far. I really appreciate it. I would love to share more of my life on here if I get the chance. I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. I want to thank you guys so much. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If not, then that's okay, but thank you for watching anyways. I'm Emily Rose, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.